Yeah, I think we're ready to begin the main part of our workshop here now. Um, Mr. Kesh, are you ready there? Let me stop my screen share and see if we can get the video up. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the birthday greetings. It is uh, a nice day to be among the family of yourself. You started with two, now the family runs into millions. Every day we get news on different levels in respect to the development of the technology and the family becoming bigger. The reason I called for the presentation today is twofold and then it'll come to be known. It will unravel itself as we open up. It will be a very short one, but fundamentally changing the structure of humanity. As you see on my right hand side, it says one planet, one nation, one race. Throughout the time, this race has divided itself on the different names and nationalities. And over time, different leaders of different parts fought each other for the greed of the materials or the position. We have seen this even within the structure of the Keshe Foundation, the habit still goes on. It's time to change in a way that, as we said, when you are one nation, one race, one planet, one group of people working, there is no hierarchy. That's why I teach this way. That's why we are so approachable and open. And this is the strength of the foundation. In no organization like this, worldwide, internationally working and respected in so many ways, you see such an openness and approach. This comes out of our strength because we know what we have, we know what we deliver. But there is a very big gap in this one nationness. We tried over past two years to bring it very, very slowly into prospect, bringing it in that it can deliver its job. You saw the teaching, but there is a lot goes behind, not only by the teaching, not only by manufacturing, not only by development. There is a lot of political movement. We get all sorts of things moving around the foundation that we bring the political arena, the scientific arena, and the humanity together to one point. And in the development of past two, three weeks, since we start teaching this the space plasma technology, this point has reached. As one nation, we need to have one government. This is the beginning. We announced the establishment of world government today, which means from today, the members of the Keshe Foundation work as a government. We are looking for those who head the United Nations of the nations, which is one nation of the Keshe Foundation. We are looking for groups to be the head of state from each continent, that in conjunction with what we set up in the background as Universal Council on the basis of language, we complete the course. Today is the beginning of a structure to set up one government. As one government, we decide for the whole of humanity. I seek no position for this place. So, this is amongst you to select those who make a governmental committee of one person per continent that we get the mixture of. There is no favoritism who is going to be where. The development of this government is very simple. To develop and have access to all the financial means of the Keshe Foundation to change the course. This is the beginning of one nation, one planet. And the, what I call the group of leadership from each continent will have equal say in the course in what the planet as a whole will do. 
It means there is no need for the present presidents and the present kings on this planet. We have finished with it. This is the end. This way, the what you call regions as countries, your local authorities become the face point between the foundation, leadership, government of this planet with the people. There has been a huge problem where these regional governmental leadership, presidents, whatever you call it, have been looking to line their pocket of themselves with financial gains or whatever. Once we start this process of one government nation, we need to be able to behave, to live and to accommodate that we look after all the citizens equally. In the teaching, I have very silently set this position up. Some of you could see, some of you did not see. But, in a way, those who pledge to peace, pledge to running the universal, what I call government on this planet, as a governmental committee, or a group, whatever name is chosen by you lot to call them, we financially and materialistically support you. We can do it in two ways. We were not lining the pockets with money that we pay you to. The game has changed. Money will have no value. What this means, in the coming days, some of you saw some things in the past few weeks, two or three weeks, but you never understood. The Innovation Center and the people who are working with us in the background understand and can tell you what we are working on. One of the biggest problems at this moment has been, I don't have the money to pay. I need money to live. You have to work to create the condition that you can survive, and the Keshe Foundation in coming days and weeks will change the course. We openly teach you how to make as much materialistic gain that the government asks you to pay them. If you have to pay, let's say, taxes of a thousand euro, we teach you how to make gold, and you offer the gold as a payment to the government. So, you have no debts. You ask, they ask you for 10,000 euro to have an operation for your child. What's the value of the currency in your country? Gold. We teach you how to make gold to pay to the hospital. We make gold and materialistic condition worthless. The Cash Foundation team in the background has been taught what to do. A number of different ways are set up to show this. In the past three weeks, we have shown how it's done, but a lot of you did not understand it because you did not understand the technology. And, as we said, even this morning, since the early hours of this morning till now, we've been working in the background with innovation people, with the other groups, that we can deliver this promise. You have as much riches as you wanted. With it comes respect, with it comes peace. I warn certain governments, I'll take this action. And they took every action in past three, four months to stop. Those of the world leadership understood that we are on the course to literally change the basis of the financial commitment of the present. <clears throat> in so many times, I explained that we'll make gold worthless. Systems are getting set up. Not me, but those who I teach in confidence will show it to you. A lot of you have seen or might have heard. A lot of you will hear very soon. The generators to produce as much energy as you like, three, four or five kilowatts, to have your lights on 24 hours a day and no government can tax you for it, because when they tax you for it, I teach you how to use the same systems to produce gold and walk in with 
go to the offices of the government and pay them. It'll come to the point that the government says, we don't need gold. How are we going to change the course? Whatever we ask, we get paid. The course is, I work two or three days a week for my nation, which is the human race, and the humanity gives me what I want when I need it through the system and the technology which they have, and I provide myself to myself and the others. What this means, we go back not to bartering, we go back to the logo of the Keshe Foundation. We are here to serve and not to be served. Which means, in the coming days, you will understand transportation, energy, transmutation, all becomes part of one package. This is what it will be in the space. So, we start the training on this planet. I have taught a number of people in the past two or three weeks how to start practicing to make any elements you like. So, this way, US dollar, pound, euro, Chinese money or whatever, worth nothing. Government cannot say we only accept paper because the others will take it and it makes it worthwhile. We saw rings, we saw euro, we saw dollars, all backed by fake promises and gold which is stolen. Now we produce so much gold that gold has no value and every other element. This is the power of the new one nation government technology against peace, and technology against everything the man needs, that we get prepared and ready for excursion into a space that we don't need to pay, we serve to receive, with the pleasure of giving, no expectation of taking, or be given. This is the change, this is what I called the beginning. The beginning of a new way, and we are not talking, because from past year, two years, you have seen, we shared everything freely. No patterns, no conditions, terms of the working, even with the manufacturing, is that we carry 51%, and that 51% is to go to the nation and the people. We are not building another Vatican, we are not building another Saudi Arabia, we are not building another United States and United Kingdom to rob and kill in the name of war to create peace. At the same time, this process has already started and there is no end to it. So, the beginning has begun. Worthless currencies, worthless governments, and as I said, in July, we enter the American politic. But, the only thing I forgot to tell you, deliberately not to tell you, is we enter in every nation's politic. We have put our hands to the strongest army in the world, the most populous army in the world, to support the move. They know the request, and we've been negotiating for past two days, three days with them, heavily. In a way, we ask the armies to join, to become the army of the peace, if the real intention was peace. We ask, in one way, we pay soldiers with gold. I wonder who do they serve, the gun or the peace? We allow you to make so much different materials that no soldier is ready to shoot a gun. Because, first of all, not his line with what he needs, with the technology, the knowledge, the warmth, the food, and everything else for his family, but he understands the ethos of the Keshe Foundation, which is a World Peace Treaty. Early yesterday, those are the background of the Keshe Foundation. We looked heavily to find the Chinese translation of the World Peace Treaty to be sent to the Chinese leaders to sign. They received it, now sits 
on the table of the world leaders to sign. We don't see any other way to do it, but giving so much that there is no need to fight. Nations become one and there is no killing. So, in the next coming days, we are looking to set up the one nation leadership or the government on this planet that looks after the whole of humanity on equal basis, not on continents, not on race, and not on language. And the advice sits with the Universal Council, which we have set up. So, very quietly, in the background, we have set everything up. While you are looking, what is going to be done, where is the generator, where is the, what do you call, the food and the light, the Cash Power Foundation, Innovation Group, and the others have delivered so much, all I need to do is to connect the lines. And we have given advice to this effect. We are not looking for politicians. Politics is finished. There is no politic in the space, so there is no room for the politicians, there is no room for the kings, and there is no room for presidents. We need those we looking who will set up and understand the politic of peace, using technology for peace, and we do not buy position. We buy that every one of you becomes a member of the government, which means you will strive to achieve the unity and not looking for someone to lead you. In a space, you don't call back to Earth to say, what is the view of your presidency in respect my negotiating with this race we found in the space? You are the ambassador of the planet. You have to make a decision as a leader, and that is how it shall be. So, now you understand the word, the beginning. The beginning of setting up one nation government. We ask you, we teach you in the coming days, how to make whatever you need. I chose this way deliberately. I didn't go for the scientific world to do the proof of the technology. I went for the common man, that the common man understand another common man, and they can teach freely. We've seen some people who come around the foundation, and in being noticed, they lost their way, and they claim to be everything. But when you look at it, they learn everything from the foundation. We saw people like Mike Nashif. He lost his way. He came, he learned, and he abused it. And in a way, he lost his way that he was here to serve, but serving one became more important, serving humanity. We saw the same with the guy from Vietnam, and we've seen the same with Simon Smith in Paris. You are all part of the same family. It's you who has to use the, what you know, what you learn for the purpose of peace, and it's you and other people, like Farhad Amini, like people in Canada, people in South America, people like Benjamin in Africa and Alex, to bring this family together. There is no division, because if we start a division, we have already failed. We have to understand the condition. We have to understand what has brought us here, what we learn, and how, as one unit, we can become to teach more. Those who are in different languages, you don't come close to me to be somebody. You are close to yourself and you are everything. And this is what is important. The important thing is that all the knowledge which has been gathered has to be used for the purpose of humanity. We don't and we won't allow no one to be higher than the other. If you've been here at the center, when people are with us, we eat on the same table, we share everything, and this is how it has been with us all the time. You got to learn what you know worth nothing if you are not man of integrity, understanding the position of yourself. Those who fight to be somebody, to claim they are somebody, that's their problem. In time, they will change, because 
one by one, whatever was wrong with the foundation has been found to be right, and we have seen them one by one disappearing. The process is simple. I call today for you to start selecting, not electing, people who you are to serve as the leaders of this planet, to make sure as a government of one nation, Australians and the rest are all treated equal. Be color blind, be race blind, be nationality blind, because you are one. When you is one, you have nothing to compare and you stay focused. So, today's job is very simple. We are looking for world leaders. And the only thing these world leaders don't need is to be politicians. Is to serve the humanity, make sure the knowledge is given freely, and at the same time, use the knowledge you receive to pay people to change the course with knowledge. Those of you who do workshops, those of you who work in the background in the name of the foundation to profit your own pockets, now we give you a better chance to make more profit, which means teach your people how to make gold. We show it in the coming days. You have seen a very strange phenomenon and it's been repeated in a number of cases in the last week. You saw with Douglas running a system, he lost the ball, found it in the other room. We've seen with Peter in Austria, he's lost two balls and he can't find them. We've seen a development in innovation center where the material within the glass comes out of the glass without any hole. This means we have learned and we are in the process of learning the transmutation of the element to a higher order that even the containment of them is weak enough to hold. The reason you see these things is because the plasma held within the containers is above the strength of the material condition they are contained in and they come to the point till they don't find a balance in energy, in magra condition, they will not find place of rest. We can do the same with the emotion of the man to feed it so high, to reach the point of the satisfaction, and in that process, become peaceful. It's very simple. All those who are working around the foundation, we teach you to teach more, and we teach you to make gold. I keep on emphasizing on gold, because the gold has been the curse of humanity. And if we make it so readily available, will have no value, the line of thinking changes, and as I said, you tell your government, how do you want me to pay my bill to you, now that I create free energy for myself through the magra generators, I'll pay you with gold. Or you accept my term to work freely with the pleasure of what, how I want to serve humanity and I don't need to pay nothing. I worked in the barter world for 20 years. This is a barter of knowledge and energy for pleasure that I serve with myself. It is not a barter that I work I get, is the barter that I work to receive pleasures of the others to have. We don't make the sweatshops of Bangladesh or China, we make the pleasure places to be that every man is free. I've told you, if need be, you thought raining water was hard, you talk about having chemtrails, I'll make you gold trails, that will rain so much gold that nobody will ever want to touch any of it. At the beginning, it will be a lot of mayhem, but after a while, there is nothing else. Which currency are we going to change to? So, you see, 
is a test, very first test, to change man to work for the pleasure of his soul, not the physicality of his body. We give so much knowledge that no man will be in bed and no man will die of cancer, but he chooses the time when he wants to add his souls to another soul by terminating his physicality. If you wish to live a thousand years or ten thousand years, that's your wish, it'll be granted, because it's you who decides the physicality. The change had to come, and it has to come now, because we have two choices. My target to all of you, all of you who understood the technology, but in one way or another tried to serve the way which you are pleased with, is to produce, understand how, with some water, gold, copper, zinc, or anything else you have, or you think you have. You will see a lot of collapses. In the past few days, I've learned something very interesting. The nations who were crying for energy and resources, now that they have seen the Keshe Foundation has released the generators, they have got themselves in a bigger mess. The mess is that they have invested so much in mines, in power stations, so much bribe has been paid to keep these power stations built, and now there is no need for them. And this is the problem which is a number of nations are facing and will face more in the coming weeks. We see unemployment through the new energy system in China, around about 100 to 200 million people. Because the mining, the generators, and the rest of it are not needed. So the government suddenly realizing what we thought it was a big gain for the nation, now creates a huge unemployment. Because now how are we going to feed these people if these generators and the energy systems come into operation? So we have to blacklist the foundation that we can control it for a few days more. But the blacklist is finished because now you don't need to worry how to pay. We show you how to print gold and pay to the people to buy gold and to sell gold and value whatever you need or we go back to the ethos of the soul of the man to be equal. So there is no worries for governments like China. At the same time, governments like American government who just produces arms to keep employment does not need to worry. The biggest problem in Western Europe and America with all the wars we see is to keep people employed that there is going to be any uprising. Now with having gold you don't need to do so is one way for China, the other way for the West. This is why we see so much new warfare, because as has been stated in the recent past, war for peace was actually war to keep employment peace at home, not peace internationally, and nobody saw it. Americans have to create wars because the arm manufacturing in the state will create jobs and the government can keep on track of being governing. Now, there is no need because every man who works in names of arms, you can give them gold. We'll bring it to you, you will see it, you will understand it. Let me explain how you do it that you understand and you start making it today. Go around the street and give gold freely to people. You made the balls with heavy alkaline. You made balls with heavy acidic. Don't forget, acidic is giving alkaline is taking. When you add 
on the ratio of the alkali to the acidic, that it can increase the gravitation, would you like plutonium or would you like gold? Total cost, one dollar. But, these are the fields which are created. Now, you have to change another piece into the jigsaw. You create a high energy source, you play the game in reverse. You create a low acidic, high alkaline, and you add acidic as you want. The grind between the two field forces, depending on the distance you have decided between the two, is like when you put a knife to a grinder. When you have a grinder and you put a knife to it to sharpen it, you see the splashes. You see the residual. Now, if you put a system which in it has the gravitational and magnetic field of gold on the table, what does it do? Will attract what you want. So, my consideration goes to the governments of Europe who tried so much mayhem to rob the central banks. I told you, I would not give you a chance to enter Iran to rob Iranian Central Bank. We line you with so much gold that you have to cross mountains of gold. By that time you're too tired to even start war. So, I protect the territories of the world and I give you as much gold. Those who have the mentality of being superior in the name, false names of the king, no man is higher than another. You show me a certificate that your soul is as stronger as a king or a president than a man on the street who's begging or homeless because the churches and the mosque have stolen from humanity. So, very simple. Build your systems and understand the technology. Very simple. You make gold out of water. This was the promise of Blessed is name Christ, but man never understood. You rotate this wall of the bowl of the water with another bowl of the water. What it does in the interaction of their fields, the same as, as you see the light of the day on this planet, they create residuals. If you understood the work of the universal system, if your intention was to create gold, all you need to do, make the guns of gold. The same as two magnets attraction, you collect whatever field of gold is created here. Would you like half a kilo? Would you like 10 ton? Walk in to the White House and give it to the President. Tell him that's a payment for the nation not to go to war. But there is one problem. The problem is that what are we going to do with the wrongdoing of man and all the power game play which has been played? Then the game is the same. Create through the same process the field of the emotion of the man that satisfies the man and brings him to be equal to the others. We achieve peace through emotion. No different. So, we will show you how easily this is made. Innovation Center is working on it. There are two, three other groups working on it. You will see you collect as much, any material you need. As I told you in demonstrations of the past, and a lot of you did not understand, and maybe now you can understand. I gave you a hint of this, 
over 12 months ago with this. But you didn't see it, now you understand it. Each ball in the center of the control has the gravitational magnetic field of the matter you need. Your reactors run, you collect what you want. Plutonium, uranium, gold, water, amino acid. I put the structure in front of you, but you didn't see. But look underneath, you have a star formation at the bottom. Whatever you create, on the top you receive. So, now, you have access to millions of the materials which are in the universe, in the energy level or matter level. So, as I said, I have put it so in front that you are blind to see. Now, you understand. You create the water gas of gold in one, and every day, pick a kilo, go in the street, I said, I have a kilo of gold, everyone says, we have the same two. Would the farmer work? Yes. Would the farmer produce? Yes. Because he does it out of the pleasure of knowing he feeds another. Men will walk into the factories, except the factory of war making, to do something, not to get bored, because we have everything we need. The service becomes part of satisfaction of the soul, and not the satisfaction of the pocket. Those of you who understood this, understood when we put this on the table a year ago, over a year ago with Marco, I explained something very simple. I said, this is the fundamental and a cornerstone of the space technology, and now you understand why. So, it's not that we just brought something out of our pocket. The pocket was there, you didn't see it. Now, we have taken our time, we have established the Universal Council. Now, we establish as of today, the beginning of one nation government. And in one nation government, we don't need subsidiary governments. We say goodbye to American government, we say goodbye to those who call themselves the leaders of China, those who call themselves the leaders of religious leaders, those who call themselves the kings of United Kingdom and the rest, because there is no kingdom, only dumbs and the thing, people who think they are king. And this is how it shall be. Take your time, build your systems, Try to look for those who are true in serving humanity and then make them to serve by giving them from your soul to them that they become the leaders of this planet as the head of the nation of one nation planet. The Universal Council is the arm with Universal Community. The Governmental Council is for the man and to look after the need of the man. And that's how it shall be. The armies will be armies of rescue, as we cannot control physical disasters and the conditions which comes naturally to us. And those armies who set up to destroy, they have to find a solution for them as armies to be used to build. I hinted on this two or three times in the past year, and a lot of people never understood. I gave you the example. His Excellency, Bazaar Pahlavi, the Shah of Iran, in his time showed this is possible, how he changed the armies into men of wealth for the nation. I repeat it again. His Excellency, President, His Excellency, Bazaar Pahlavi, the Shah of Iran, in 70s, with the support of the Office of President, what I call Prime Minister Hoveda, they came with a white revolution. Iran was a peaceful nation, and in that peacefulness, we still had to keep borders that we are strong enough that nobody comes in our territory. Now there is no enemies, so there is no territory to protect. But you still have the soldiers which you feed 
just it's a governmental employment. The army is that's all it is, governmental employment. So what the Shah did, he said we have armies which are sitting in the camps, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of soldiers doing nothing. For one day they might use a gun. But they don't need a gun. But they're educated people. They are people of ethos of peace. So he did something very simple. Those who understood literature, those who understood mathematics, and those who understood biology. He made those who understood literature to become teachers, and he brought Iran in less than 10 years, 15 years, from 95% illiterate to 95% literate people, using the soldiers. In no time, when there were no roads and no schools, he built using the ones who understood mathematics to build schools and roads, and every village in Iran had a school in less than 10 years. Those who understood biology, he put with the training of two months, all these were trained in two months, and in two months, he became the health people. They went to the same villages which they never seen health, they set up health centers, they treated people, they got help, and in a way, the nation changed over 15 years, thanks to the work of Reza Pahlavi, to a nation you know are the leading nuclear energy at the moment. The foundation was put by Reza Pahlavi. Then it came the present time, the insight of His Excellency, His Eminence, Ayatollah Khamenei, who brought Iran, knowing the foundation was set, to the present time, Iran as a leading nuclear scientific organization of today. When I left in Iran, we had 5% literate, educated, carrying 95%, and today, 95% are highly educated, mainly women at the highest level, carrying 5% of illiterate. This has to be the job of the new One Nation government. This is pre-road. This is what we've seen. All you need is to replicate. You don't need to worry where it comes from because you are there to serve. We've seen this, and we've shown this with two people. We've seen it with Alex in Nigeria. We've seen it with Benjamin in Ghana. They are changing the face of the governments, the face of nation, with their dedication to serve without looking where it will be the next. We brought in Professor Zhu from China, and he betrayed the Cash Foundation badly. Where they thought they were going to lose, where they were given the best of what it was in the Foundation. We brought in other people around the world. Some of those who did not get lost, to start serving humanity, but in fact, all of you, what you need to do is to understand this process. In so many ways, we are not here to create another Vatican. We are not here to create a empire for Keshe Foundation. My name will last the history book of man, because I started it. But your name as human race has to stand the time of universe. And that comes when you educate not 5% of humanity with the space technology and thoughts of space, but 95 to 100%. So the education has changed from physicality to satisfaction of the soul, and a piece of mind. You got to understand a simple process. Those of you who worked around the foundation, those of you who worked to teach and in the process of teaching served, and some, very, very few, they got lost seeing themselves suddenly being paid attention to, they became the what they called the owners of the technology. Let it be yours. But if you are, 
you have to learn the rest of the ethos of the Keshe Foundation too. Your job now is to serve. My call goes to a few of you, because you will be the example of the humanity, because in a way, no one is far from the father, and father is never far from the children, but it's for the child to understand his position. People like Sam Smith in Paris, working so hard, trying to be close to the foundation, and being disillusioned by not being. You lot always have been. It's you who have to find your way to serve the humanity through peace and prosperity, not position of the state. This is your problem. We've seen this especially, a man who I had a lot of respect for, he came in, he learned how to wind and how to coil and how to make, and suddenly he lost his way. He even betrayed another man, left him in an island like Mike Nasser. You're all welcome. We are not far. You learned, but now you have to learn the ethos of the Cash Foundation work, that you're not here for yourself, you are here to serve the others, because that's the purpose of the Foundation. Those of you who signed the peace treaty and you say he wants or you want to control, the only people you signed the peace treaty to is your physicality to your own soul and nobody else. If you have a problem to commit your physicality to peace, to become in line and parallel to your soul, and you see it as somebody else's problem that they're going to control your soul, means you're still on the realm of greed to be in charge and to be in possession of everything. So, when you sign a peace treaty, be it as the leaders of the nations, as a man who claims I have signed a peace treaty, but I betrayed the Keshe Foundation in China, it means you have never understood the true work of the Foundation. We were looking for your soul to be in balance with your physicality, your soul being like a proton, and your physicality like an electron, but somewhere in the middle you got lost, and you became nothing. So, the whole process is very simple. Whatever you've done, whatever we do, we have to forget and forgive, and start the process, as what I said, the beginning. One nation, one leadership, one council that is from all planet, there is no competition like today's policy of United Nations, everybody cheating, bribing, threatening to make a man the leader of the United Nations, that they can pass the agreed process through. This way, from every continent, carrying language, with the help of the Universal Council, you will achieve what is the plan of the Universal Operation, which is the peace on this planet, that allows the mankind to become peaceful in the universe. So, my job is done in another way. In a very simple way, I taught you how to make units, energy units, magnum units, pens and needles, or whatever you like to call it, for you to slightly start understanding the process. And in that process, your job is to teach the rest of humanity. You can gather followers, the following has to be one thing, serving the soul of the man. You do not need to be worried where your next income comes, because the first thing you've got to learn is how to make the gold which eluded you, and then you'll find your physicality become gold, and your heart and your soul will be made of gold, which is the point of satisfaction of the wealth to the man. So, now, as I said, we are calling for what we call One Nation Leadership. Those who serve humanity for peace, those whose target will be in a direction to feed the man of hunger, to feed the man of hunger of physicality, and elevate the soul of those who are hungry for position, that they find out they don't need to fight to be some.
We shall not forgive those people who call themselves the rulers and created mayhem. Because not only we cannot forget, their souls will find a place for them to be. You have two choices. We start setting up the universal, or what I call the one nation leadership as of today, or we have no choice but to go to annihilation of man. This way, there shall be no religion, and there shall be no nation. There will be only one man, as the totality of human being, and as it says, in the Iranian poet Sadi, we are all fingers, the hand, the part of one body. The body only functions perfectly when every part of it is in a working order. And every part of this planet at this moment is like the hand of the man. In the books, they call it Panje, which is the five continents. Panj, Panje comes from the word of Persian word. Panj means five. The planet on this, or continent on this planet, are five, which means one finger cannot operate without the others. And this is how the Universal Council will be. But we know, in the coming time, there will be six continents, as the South American continent will separate, and it needs its own representation. Therefore, we need six, which replicate the true structure of solidarity of crystal, which means it will be stable. This is the purpose of setting up the, what I call the governmental council. We ask for the governments to enter this negotiation, to hand over their powers to the council, because in time we will give so much that people don't need leaders to understand the ethos of the Keshe Foundation, and they will come to work to our way, and then there will be no leaders to need. We don't need a president in one country with 2,000 entourage, with people sleeping on the ground in boxes outside the presidential palace. We do not need kings to kill children for the pleasure of time of them, where other children are going in hunger and are abused for that purpose. I have not misled you. I had to bring you down this path. And from today, we announce. In the Keshe Foundation website, in the coming days, you will see one link. One Nation Leaders. You can bring yourself in to be the leader, and you need to justify how your leadership in what system will bring peace and prosperity to man without the need to any deception and working with the others. So, we don't come and elect you. We want you to select yourself to be on the board of the leadership of this planet. The condition is, now we have a system which can see your soul. There is no lies. You can't lie anymore, say, I want to be the leader to serve, but I'm there to be called the new leader. It will go red so fast that it shows the color of blood. It means you are too physical. It will shine like a sun, because it's the true color of your soul. So, we are not running leadership election, we are not running government election, we are running one nation leaders to change the course. And once you are accepted to be, we give you all the knowledge to become the next Messiah, to give knowledge and technology freely to every man, to show how to make gold and the rest of it. But don't forget, you don't need the Father Christmas sack to go through every chimney. You just got to have a little bit of knowledge, which is this, how to mix water. This is the beauty of 
what is to come. It will take you a few weeks or a few months to understand this, but those who understood are well at it. I enjoy working with my innovation center team, because they have become detached from what they can use it for, they become attached to the work of the piece of humanity and what it can bring. I don't nominate no one, but if you see your soul to be the true leader, it definitely puts out an end to American presidential election, because all the promises of we make the country rich, will be done by you, because you deliver the technology that every man in the kitchen can make some. Free energy, as you've seen, free MAGA systems, as you've seen, free gold system, as you've seen, but we'll go through the process of the commercialization, that then the Cash Foundation factories and producers and the people who do it at home, they decide how to spend their time and how to develop and deliver. In so many ways, this is the beginning. The first chance humanity has ever had truly from the creation of the first cell on this planet to change the course, to become peaceful, not to worry who's going to have to eat and who doesn't, because now you teach everybody how to eat and what to have. And then, in so many ways, we all become one color. No man can cheat. And you go back to what I told you two years ago. When you are in a space, you will see that your thoughts will be read long before you show physicality. Now, with the technology we have delivered in past few months, you do that. You become the alien, seeing the soul of the man, if he's cheating or not, or if he's telling you the lies or not. We've seen people inciting war. We've seen people inciting riots in Paris and videoing it. We have all on record. We know how it's done. We know who's involved. But it's our grace we keep our silence, not our weakness. In so many ways, my call goes to two world leaders. The Chinese, which the representative is sitting in the background listening and reporting to the Chinese military, and the American government intelligence who are sitting on the same line with you. Make one army out of the two nation army, bring wealth and knowledge to each other, and there shall be no army of war, but it will be the army of the peace. We will teach this heavily. In the coming days and weeks, I said, we'll come on and we'll show. This is the birthday gift which I can give you as a humanity, and I hope those who understand will grab and run with it very fast, and those who they see it as a threat, I understand that their time is over. The only terrorists in this structure is those who stop the one nation government to be established, and we have a way to handle that too. If you've been teaching, if you've been working, if you have made systems, and through it you've been teaching the others, we encourage you to carry on. This physical existence and the work will be on for a few months, till the change comes. This is the fastest way we could do, and then we'll find out every material to man will be free. You don't need to go to Africa to get the Africans to work for you and rob the nations of their wealth and take it back to China to make something, to sell it to the West to become richer. The man in Africa will dig the same thing out himself without doing anything out of the fields of this planet. This is important to understand. Now, the knowledge doesn't come out of patterns. The knowledge and equality comes out of sharing the knowledge and developing the knowledge. This is what we have been waiting for. And now, I want to see who will oppose the Universal Council, who will oppose the setting of the 
one nation leadership and then who is there to support this change. In a way, we all obey by the rules, by the condition of our own soul and the only thing the leaders are elected or selected by themselves is to make sure that the knowledge and the spread of knowledge is equal amongst man and not only the man who becomes the representative of the, let's say, America will do his best to give to the African continent and to Asian continent, but he convinces his own people of the American continent, we have to bring the change. We have this time to give for what we've done wrong, that we bring the balance through, that we are all right. There is no need for armies of war to be the armies of the war peace, as it's become fashionable now, because the factories in America has to work to keep the presence in the office of presidency with employment, but now the same factory will build things that it gives pleasure to the others. It doesn't mean with this way that is the end of new technologies, new televisions, new communication system, but it becomes the era that we make things. Who wants to have it? We have so much of it, we can make more of it. As I said too many times, the biggest problem on this planet is there is seven billion people. You can never satisfy and produce everything for everybody. So, the process is simple. Today is the beginning, and it's the beginning of one nation government, which means all of you, as one government, as one nation, we want to know which one of you will dare to serve, and in so many ways, in the next few weeks, we release so much knowledge and new technologies that we bring submission to governments through technology. I want to show you something, and if you understand this, we can shower gold in the same way. Brennan, are you in the background? Can we hear Renan? Is he there? Yes, sir, I'm here, sir. Renan, could you please show the video of the water out of the bottle? Okay, sir, for a video. Then you understand how this means, what this means. If you understand, you can have a water across without even making anything. Transportation, transmutation of the water, exactly the same way as it happens in your stomach. Now you decide what you want outside. This is a, you have to understand this video, and then you understand what I'm talking about. Can you show it, please? Can you enlarge the screen? Can you tell us when you're ready to show it? And okay, then you I'm explain, ready. yes, explain to us what happened in your experiment that we understand. Can you share the screen? Can you explain as you go along before you show it? Uh, first, this the setup here is uh, uh, it's a thing, a double core reactor. The inner reactor is a the inner reactor is a composite gans that is in a uh, basic solution, and the uh, outer water of the outer ball is a as well a basic solution, but only CH3 gans. So uh, we believe that there is also a bit of. Uh, leaking but here we don't find any holes after the video was done so we inspect it so let me show you the point that when the water are already coming out Let's begin from the beginning please where it comes okay. the video is very short only one minute show the so whole line that it can be seen 
two minutes video. This is the ball. This is how the energy is absorbed inside. It goes through the phase of the balance energy between the ball inside and outside. And then, very interestingly, when the field balance, there are no holes, and they found no holes or any leakage after this process. But this is the same thing as you saw with Douglas, where he found the ball in the other room. This time is the liquid in the other room, and the other room is outside where you are. So we have learned the transmutation of the matter without containment by use of the field. The process. Renan, can you tell us what you were feeling before? So the uh, emotions sir, was once when the field was so large already, uh, or in a sudden, when the water went out, I just feel it's like my, my hands are vibrating. So even I went away that my hands was already vibrating and I, I sent off the energy to the people around and they feel the energy was so, it's a big, a big ball. So usually I use my hands to, to, to process someone. So right now I use my whole palm and let it flow. And it was a large flow of field coming out. So in my own uh, understanding, the field, because I was the one video, doing the video, and and I my I have also my uh, some of my amino acid on the center core, and from that time uh, there was the huge field that I can feel stop. for a few. Minutes. Stop the video one second. You see the field strength, which is from the inside, has started creating water outside. A lot of you were asking, how do we make water? Now you see the process. A lot of you have been after the creation of water. Now you understand the process. This is the glass, the, the, this in the, within the transparent box. You see how water is created. This ball has no holes. Even they check afterwards. There is no way any material can come out. The gravitational magnetic field in the center, don't forget, and the gravitational magnetic field outside has a common element, water. So now the field is exactly the same as the stomach of the man, transfers energy, and in accordance to the environment moisture becomes the water. Please go ahead and show what happens. Okay. Just watch. When you so we increase, we increased it. Increase the speed, and it's stabilized. And okay, I'll do a slow mo. You see the water. In the last this was, uh, the immediate flash. We thought the the container was broken, so I that was our first expectation that the container was broken and it has been splashed because the water was a direct flash, and all of the water of inside was uh, spread out, so went out. So we thought it was broken, but there was only water that came out, and we checked the container. Then the container was dry. We check it out. There was no. We switch it off once it already had a. Uh, once it already uh, bla uh, spread the water, we switch it off immediately, and from that we open the glass. And the the, the container here is there's it's not wet, so there's no leak from it. It's not wet, but the whole water inside was gone. All the water inside was gone. So I think the maybe the water just went out in that in that stage in just few milliseconds. In a few milliseconds, you can see a uh, stabilizing the the movement there. In these seconds, from seven seconds to eight seconds, it just occurred in that time frame. I'll get make it slower. 
lower. The thing is, we put this on a blueprint, and you can try it. I'll repeat the process. So right now we're repeating it, Mr. Kesh. So not lucky yet in repeating. So we're gonna do the same way. We're getting it now uh, for the next setup. The second setup is. Uh, yeah, let me see. I'll just make a reverse. Okay, there. Thank you very so much. That's, uh, yeah. So we, we we want to repeat the process again. So we're doing another process right now. Not yet successful. So I'll do the same expectations and intentions on how to go about it. As we secured every hole or every connection, the the spin is not so fast. It's it, it's not so fast. I think it's about less than five thousand or less than ten thousand RPM. Oh, it's not so it's fast. Not to do with the speed, it's to do with. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question, and I think you answer it the right way it should be. Is it just water off the gas, or do you have some gas in the cores as well? Only uh, on the outside, this is only uh, a water of the gas and a few CH3 powder or a few CH3 gas. That's why there's a uh, a bit what, on the what, water what, side. Uh, what I'm trying to ask is not just the water, you have some gas inside the system as well. Yes, in the outer ring, in the outer ring. And the There's inner only, ring? And in the inner ring? The inner ring, it's mostly gas and uh, base water, mo post, uh, water that is cost high in uh, caustic, high in pH. So it is uh, high in pH in the middle. So it's pure, it's mostly guns. The ratio is, I think, 70% of the container is filled with guns and 30% uh, is uh, filled with uh, caustic solution. And the others? You don't wash your guns or is it uh, washed? No, it's, 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 it's already washed, but we mix another caustic, uh, another ca a caustic solution to raise the pH to, to about 14 or higher. So from a wash guns, we mix it again with a caustic solution to raise the pH higher. Then uh, the bowl, the bowl here in the middle uh, sunk, so it doesn't stay in the middle yet. It's at the start. It's on the bottom. Uh, so be clear here. Let me. The reason I ask this question is to explain that. When you add some GANS materials into the bowl, you create like putting sand or putting a spin into the system. It's not just a pure water. You need to create a dynamic motion in the water that it gets disturbed because of its plasmatic gravitational magnetic field with a center. It becomes like a mixing machine. So, the gas outside become a mixer of the fields in the gas water or plasma water of the outside bowl. And once the field is created, it transfers the energy. The energy internally <coughs> expands and literally brings the dimension of its field strength beyond the boundary of the bowl. And the water literally follows that expansion. So the matter state of the bowl is irrelevant. We saw this with the uh, Douglas the week before, and we've seen a number of people who are testing this, reporting their pieces of machinery disappearing, or they cannot find out where it is. And all it is, the system creates such a strong gravitational magnetic field that the matter state is irrelevant. This is important in the deep space technology, as I mentioned before. When you travel at a high speed, and you understood this, this process, what happens is this. You create a very high, very, very high field. Let's say the strength of the plasma you create in five. Can you stop the string share? We can go on this. Can you see my writing? Yes? Okay. So the 
center inside plasmatic strength is let's say about 100 the matter state of the ball strength is 10 so this has nothing this doesn't look anything around in front of it so it's so transparent you need this in deep space as you're traveling with a high speed you create you literally dilute it but don't touch it you create a field strong enough if the environmental density is 10 you create a hundred with your system that if you have meteorite if you have anything they become transparent to your system of light it's the same way as the acidic energy in your stomach goes through the wall of the stomach into your lymph it's the same process but this has a lot of application in a way you can do the same thing if you find the strength of the emotion of the man which we shown is a strength where to be you can bring and satisfy all the emotions of the man in one go and you understand the soldiers will not remember why they are carrying the gun the tools of this delivery of knowledge is slowly becoming apparent by different tests by different development we had to take you right across everywhere then just showing it then it would have been one man and it become a magic show now you're all magicians simple develop it understand it make the gravitational magnetic field of the center in respect to his environment the same as gold and this time instead of water you will deliver gold outside. You've seen how much water you collected. Every ounce of that water inside will come out of as gold. But this time, you have to put huge amount of gas water of gold in the center. You will get outside the same. Don't forget the way we built a very non-dynamic version of this. You remember this? The CO2 box, zinc and copper, nano-coated. You created the field of copper. And that field of carbon attracted other carbons from the atmosphere in interaction with the water you had the CO2 gas. Now, the process is the same. In this process, now, in the dynamic process, you create the fields. If you create another process, here you create the gravitational magnetic field of diamond, gold, whatever. Whatever here the fields are created is your grinding machine. So, try it. Douglas, you're making this system. Are you in the background? Can you come online? Can you promote Douglas if he's still away? Yeah. Douglas, are you there? Hello. I can hear something in the background, but it's too low. Hello. Douglas. Renan, can you reach him in the background? Hello? Hi. Okay, he's online, sir. Yes, but he's not speaking. Uh, he's fixing the mic.
I'm, yeah, I'm, we're having trouble here. Uh, Douglas, if you can hear us, maybe you can hear us. We're not hearing you at all. So I'm um, kind of changing your microphone. Maybe plug in and unplug your microphone again or try a different microphone. Maybe it's creating too much field he can't cross. I'm sorry, I noticed my microphone is unmuted. Did you need me, Mr. Kish? I had to run to the bathroom. <laughs> Douglas, uh, you're running those balls with the motors, which I explained to you how you can bring them together to produce materials. Would you like to show us how you're doing it and the others learn to be able to make gold? Uh, as far as a uh, drawing or to actually show the... Show them. I, I've done the drawing. You have the motors, how you put your balls on the motors and bring them together. Yeah, not a, not a problem, Mr. Kish. Let me... Uh, Can we go on your camera? Yes, we sure can. Hold on just one second here. Excuse my appearance. <laughs> All right, these are these are the reactions. You, don't see it. you haven't shared camera yet. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, now we got your camera. These are uh, these are the reactors. I'm little flower pot bases there. You, know, you can see the. They uh, used to be a fan. I took the uh, fan part off. They have two speeds. They're rechargeable. Uh, they run off three volts, and they have they come with a uh, their own USB cord. You can get them for three bucks at the dollar store. Uh, the balls will uh, fit on here uh, because of the little ledges. They fit on there perfectly. Um, I have a whole ball here, one that has holes in it. You can see that they sit on there, and uh, the bigger. The bigger container fit on there also. This is actually a, a core that I'm working on right now. I have several different cores here that are uh, working on. The tube there in front of you is amino acids that I'm collecting. Uh, <coughs> this core here in particular is uh, uh, silver, uh, silver gas and an amino acid. Uh, to be able to replicate what Renan did, except with the liquid, uh, I'm hoping to uh, be able to produce uh, some silver with this. <coughs> this is a CH3 and uh, uh, an amino uh, with just one milliliter of Gantz. The rest of it's a CH3 uh, uh, liquid. Um, these are single cores. Now this is a this is what will be what's called the quad core and, and triple cores. This one in particular is a quad core. This one is CO2, uh, uh, amino acid uh, of, of me, uh, which is my blood, and uh, CO2 uh, plasmatic water, uh, and sealed in the first core. The second core, it consists of a CH3 with the amino acid of CH3, uh, a, a mixture of half, and uh, acidic uh, base uh, to bring uh, the ball that normally sunk to float, uh, which uh, raised the, the uh, alkalinity up there uh, uh, by adding the uh, by decreasing the pH made the ball float. Now this will go as you can see. This is the third core. And this is where this one's going next. This is the next assembly, and you can see these cores have holes in them. Every one of them. Now, I chose to do the multicolored thing just to be different. And that can core. You, can that you show us what uh, you're supposed to do with putting one of each core on two different units? And then that will be the completed model. And the outer core will be uh, consisting of the, uh, the CH3 also uh, with an amino acid and uh, uh, a measurement of the pH because the pH has to be correct according to the uh, the base element. Now, with that being said, we place the cores in a 
in a, in, in a, in a way where we have them in, in a star formation. And if we have the, the cores positioned right, the field interaction occurs right here in the center, right here. And that's where Mr. Kesh is talking about that we can uh, uh, put oh, the gas. Excuse me, Douglas, could you yeah. turn your camera down a little bit so we can see your uh, assembly there? Or I wish I could. It's, oh, my, okay. actual, it's my actual computer okay. right. here that uh, uh, I, I wish it had a, a little better of a... I do have a, a remote camera, but I'm not really good at working that thing. Uh, I'll, try to, I'll try to become a circus artist and, and juggle. I can do a lot of things. That's one thing I can't do. But anyway, these go into into a formation on the base like this, uh, and then and then one above, uh, and the one above is like this. Now I call this. This is just my nickname for it. You know, it's I call it the central core. You know, uh, it, it's the core that uh, connects with the other three base cores, uh, and and this core. Uh, causes the other three to uh, rotate in the in the ways that they're supposed to rotate. When you get them near each other, if they're if they're correct, if the pH is correct, when you get the two balls near each other, they start doing opposite reactions amongst themselves anyway. Just in the core themselves, in the liquid, <laughs> uh, it it play it, it takes playing with the pH uh, a little bit. You know, a meter's a must. Uh, you know, so you can uh, uh, manipulate the pH, and once you learn how to take the heavier gants, the lead gants, the, the composite gants, the really heavy one that you can't make float no matter what. And when you can, when you learn how to make that float, that's the key to a lot of this. And then getting it inside the inner core with the CH3 uh, causes uh, some kind of. Uh, Mr. Cash can explain it because I can't. It, it, it creates not a funnel vortex. It's not a funnel. It's a straight line that starts, I mean, like a, 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 like a hair of a head, uh, you know, no thinner, it, it, no thicker, and then it gets wider. It, it, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't vortex in any shape. It's not conochial. It, it, it goes straight up and down, and, and it just it, it grows in width or diameter, I guess one would say, uh, to the point where, like I said, it was this, uh, about, about this width here. Uh, and a prismatic light shine, and and I and, and the same thing happened to mine. Uh, you know, uh, the, the I told Brennan earlier. I said, you know, my ball did the same exact thing, but mine left and went straight up and hit the ceiling and busted. And we found the inner core later. Chances are, if I would have had mine in a container and it would have had longer to glue we would have seen that my ball wouldn't have went anywhere and the fluid would have escaped out of it also uh, along the insides of the container. Uh, so it's it, manipulating these three fields along with the, with the center field up here uh, that, that creates uh, what we want in, in the middle uh, is the way I understand this and the interaction of these fields. Can I ask you a question? You, uh, thank you very much. But when these fields react, and you create another ball of the material you want, like the water or the gold, you can start collecting gold where you want it. That's my next, yes, that's why uh, I, I didn't have uh, very much, I'm, I'm a, I don't have very much means, but I did have silver because I found an old silver, uh, a piece of silverware out in the yard with my metal detector. And it was, uh, you know, 925 silver. So uh, I managed to make a Gantz out of it, and I got quite a little bit out of that uh, uh, piece of silverware. So this is solid silver here, uh, and that was my intentions with, the, uh, 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 with, with this particular formation and setting up a core with silver inside the center core uh, with my amino to see uh, if I could, in the Gantz of silver that I have over there in my container, to see if I could start materializing uh, the, the solid formation. Thank you very much. Materialize this as a, 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 a particles that become, once we dry, become solid matter uh, form of Thank silver. Thank you very much. Is your, unit covered? 
is your unit covered behind you that your power generator is still running or is it open yeah, it's, it's covered it's i covered, covered i covered i covered it just in case you uh, wanted to uh, can call. we see your generator still working yeah yeah it's always working can yeah. we have a look energy on demand Thank you very much. This uh, this uh, <coughs> this is getting modified. Uh, still, even this morning, we've been working on it, and uh, innovation center here in Italy working on it. And uh, the process will once we are happy with it, because now uh, uh, um, Douglas has changed other parameters, which makes it much easier to produce then we'll release the blueprint and all of you can build your energy units up to three to five kilowatt how much would it cost if we try to buy a three kilowatt four kilowatt power generator now which lasts a long time a few thousand yeah and then there is no guarantee of anything this will have more or less no moving part it's a solid state GANS material, uh, there is a development, further development that the Innovation Center is working on, then is a solid state plasmatic reactor or the MAGRAP system. And this will satisfy the need of any nation. It can be mass produced. And one tip for those who were scared in China that this technology will create more unemployment this technology will bring more people serving humanity than the computer ever done. Because this is the beginning. Transportation of elements, transportation of information, all that is going to change and it comes from it. Those who have a fear of losing, there is a lot more to gain job-wise, keeping people busy. None of us in the coming months or weeks will work 50 weeks a year to have two weeks off to enjoy the relaxation of the physicality. We work two weeks a year and we have 50 weeks to serve humanity. This is where the change will come. And we'll see people around the foundation working that way. And the change is there. Thank you very much, Douglas. Thank you, Thank very you much. Mr. Kish, as always. And happy birthday from all of us over here. I had that this morning. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you indeed. So what you see, we are not talking making one nation, one nation, one government for the one nation. We have the tools to enforce it. We have the tools to share it, that the sharing of the free energy, free food, free everything forces man to work differently. We are the only organization who has ever had this chance on this planet, and we are enforcing it. My recommendation to those who want to be president, those who call themselves the king, is to make preparation for you to become part of the humanity and equal, as there shall be no king and no president. In the coming time, palaces and presidential palaces and king palaces and the rest will be put into the book of history when the old men become equal to sharing of the knowledge and the wealth of the universe. So this is the beginning. That's why is the total of the teaching today, the beginning. The beginning of the first one nation government to govern equal and governing is just to share equally and make sure that everything is available to support humanity on this planet and beyond. So, if you see yourself as a man or a woman who can stand in the office of giving unconditionally to be representative of your continent and work with the representative of the languages of your continent, which is more or less every language on the Universal Council, we ask you to apply.
The only people we can't apply are those who are consider themselves better than the others, as we don't need kings and the presidents, your application is rejected. And don't forget, now we're finding the tools to see the strength of the soul of the man, so you cannot lie. If you are true to serving the man from your continent, to be the board of the leadership of this planet, to look after the physical need of this planet, you're welcome to apply. We give you the link on Thursday, and you can apply. We do the usual references that we don't get those who are the stealers of the physicality to enter the realm of the emotion to steal. My recommendation is very easy. There shall be no separate governments around this planet. There shall be no king and no presidents. There shall be no army, only army of peace and completion of the promise. That will be one nation, one planet and one race. Thank you very much for today. I hope I gave my message clearly. The beginning of one nation, one race has started. Does not matter if you are black, white, speak English, French or Chinese. As of today, we are all equal, and the knowledge shall be spread so rapidly that we will force people to give everything to the government they want. You walk in the next few weeks to the office of your government, says you want taxes, how much gold does it need to pay taxes? And the governments will have so much gold that the gold have no value. And my commiseration goes to those who went to steal and destroyed so many souls of man, for a few grams of gold compared to what is being delivered. Any questions, otherwise we close the session. And then we start the beginning of the process of electing or selecting, not electing, but selecting those souls who select themselves to self humanity, because this time no one can lie. I will show you how to make soul detectors, that it shows if you are right or if you are wrong. You saw the Physical detectors with the GANS boxes a few days ago, now we'll show you how to make soul detectors, and you'll we'll see the color of your soul. We put a bucket of soul GANS, and we see if there is any attraction to it, and then we know if you are a liar, or you are there lying to serve the man. Thank you very much. If there is any question, otherwise we close the session. Good morning, Mr. Cash. This is Oza. Yes, Azar. Uh, I have a question. Uh, can you speak a bit louder, please? Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, when we talk about the uh, principal magnetic field of the Earth that has been transferred to the neighboring uh, uh, planet, is it more than what is expected to keep its balance? So is the Earth dividing to becoming uh, two other planets at this moment? We don't know. You'll find out. Okay. If you, if, you, if you make a right strength, you can go to the central planet and see what's going on. I see. And then the second question is, I, uh, I wasn't at the, I listened to your uh, talk uh, on a recording, so I couldn't ask question. My question, when Douglas was showing inside the core was basic and outer core was acidic, then you compare that to the uh, human body, you said the stomach is acidic, and the lymph is basic, and if we can make the stomach basic, we can create the same condition. Does that mean that our body is a uh, gans and a plasma and a, by itself is a spaceship? So how can we get the blueprint of our own body to be a spaceship and don't need all these gadgets? That's when you find the state of your soul and emotion. So your is soul, a, your soul becomes your soul becomes magnetical, and your emotion becomes your gravitational. So and the residue of the leftover is the physicality. So how can I do that? You got to learn. Find the position of your soul and its strength. So is this a sixth grade teaching? I'm still in kindergarten. Pardon? I said, is this the sixth grade teaching, and I'm still in kindergarten? Not actually, you already graduated, but you don't know what degree you got in, that's the problem. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Any other question? The beauty of it is nobody's asking how do we make gold now because they all know how to make it. Thank you very much for today. Let us start building the one nation government and start a new beginning for human race. We'll come to it, we'll release the website or the link that you can select yourself to serve humanity and then we don't ask you a question, we test your soul and you know if you fail or there is another one, a stronger strength that it can give more to more humanity that you step down in respect that there are others who serve better than you and you respect that it can add from yours to them that in total we become stronger. Thank you very much for today and let us build the nation that has got one government and not so much division by imaginary borders and a man of false leadership. Thank you very much. Thursday morning. Thursday morning teachings will carry on unless we have a development which we want to show, uh, we show in the middle. Today was a special day because we changed the course of humanity. Instead of having many governments or first false institutions who were supposed to represent the governments, now we truly established the first human race one government, one nation. And then we'll see where we go. But don't forget, we are spreading the knowledge very rapidly and in a coming time, in a very short time, we release the blueprint of the energy that is the main cornerstone of humanity's progress. And then from then on we go. The team is working very hard in the background. It's been just evolving to a point that the speed of evolution does not give us one only one choice, to bring the revolution for humanity. And that's where we are going at. We, re we revolutionize everything possible before Christmas. And all I ask of you is target, understand what I explained today, and I start making gold. Gold is the key factor to change the human race, respect for material world. And then you have, understand, we create what you need, and the respect for that yellow, whatever it is, goes and becomes a normal thing, and man starts behaving normal too. Thank you very much for today. Okay, thank you, Mr. Cash. So we'll uh, end the live stream now and bring this workshop to an end.